Costa Rica to find out why it's one of the leading countries in ecotourism and biodiversity. We are setting out to explore the beautiful ecosystems this country has to offer. Traveling with me is the beautiful Melissa Gill, a marine biologist and pro kite surfer. We are going to La Casinga, where my old buddy Henier runs a sustainable eco lodge boarding in a national marine park. Henier has opened his doors to give us a glimpse into his environmentally conscious lifestyle. You guys made it. Yes. Thank you, guys. Trip wasn't too bad. Yeah, how's Good Florida? to see you. Florida's great. Good, good to see you in your neck of the woods. Thanks. Finally decided to come down. Yeah. Come on. Kenya is doing a lot of wonderful things here in La Cusinga. He owns 250 hectares, you know, bordering on the Marine National Park, and he carries himself just like one of the staff. I am a native of Costa Rica, born here, raised here. I lived most of my life here in this property. 16 years ago, it opened up to the public. I think around 10 years ago, we completed the last cabins. So slowly, we grew up to have um, 11 cabins, a small restaurant here, and a lot of trails. I mean, we have 250 hectares of primary, secondary rainforest, and also reforestation projects. You can see how the roots are growing up here. This is so that they can get more oxygen to the tree. It's uh, indicative of a very wet climate. When uh, it's really wet, uh, there's not enough oxygen gets to the tree, so actually the roots grow up like this. So it can live and flourish. So we're here in one of the small productions of uh, our organic gardening. We have tomatoes over here. You can see it's radish, celery. Part of our soil is mixed up with a with the dirt that is here. The difference of growing organic and growing um, fer with fertilizers and stuff like that is that uh, you're not going to have a perfect red tomato, you're not going to have a perfect red radish, right. or a salary that is uh, without any damage. But what you have is a 100% pure product. I mean, you, mm -hmm. you bite into a tomato and you know there's no chemicals. Yeah. There's no number red, no, there's no coloring. There's yeah, they no say it's not really organic unless there's some imperfections on it. Exactly. <laughs> It's nice that you don't have all that runoff from chemicals because you know that really bioaccumulates into the rivers and streams and mm -hmm. can choke them out and you know the fish start dying. It's great to see biodegradable and not bioaccumulate. Well, well we're over here in the compost part which make all the organic uh, soil here. Everything that we got from the kitchen, paper napkins to the chicken, eggs and, um, and the, all the fruits. What we do is mix them together process starts over there. There's also manure from cows and from horses. We put a lot of water in it, um, mix it again and again. And if you touch this, the soil itself is very hot. Oh wow. You can see. Oh wow. wow. Yeah. How long does it take for the whole process from one? From here to here yeah. is around a month. This is California worms. And uh, what they do is, this is a, a different system of doing compost. Their leftovers, 100% um, organic. Okay. soil and it's one of the best ones um, and they also have the juice that we collect down below and that, that juice we mix it with water and, and we fumigate uh, the leaves. There's two ways of us producing electricity, solar and hydro and as you can hear in the background we have a pretty good river here and what we do here is deviate part of the water and then shoot it down this way uh, and with a, an old style turbine it just turns around, the, uh, the water pressure turns around the turbine and that produces um, electricity. What we, percent of your electricity is on hydro, electric um, power? Around 20%. Uh, 
using a lot of solar energy. And what we can produce here, we are connected to the grid. The good part about Costa Rica is most of our electricity is also produced in a hydroelectric way. So we don't use fossil fuels as much as other places. So around 80% of Costa Rican power is hydroelectric. So this is our small recycling center. Everything that is recycled, uh, our staff, our guests, um, even people from the community come here and uh, put their stuff in here. We have a program with a uh, school down the road. It's a small little school. They do all the recycling part. We separate everything to pick it up. And all the money that they get from the recycling, they've been using it to buy new new stuff for the school. No, it all goes to the school? Yeah, everything. Oh, great. I mean, we keep nothing here. It's just a part of our sustainable process in helping the community. A lot of people in the world knows that Costa Rica, they call it the Mecca of ecotourism, the Mecca of uh, sustainable tourism. And the reason is this, I mean, not only are we Costa Ricans very friendly and very welcome to people, but uh, also a large percentage of, of us do care about nature and we do care about uh, preserving what we have and be part of the community, not just isolate yourselves like other places you can go and be in a resort and never learn about the cultures and about, about the people around them. This is a gift shop. Whenever you buy something here, it's helping a family make a living. Everything here is somebody made it by hand. The power of one is the power to do something, you know. I love that saying and I think that, you know, a, one person can make a whole difference. And uh, if one person right. at a time will make a difference, then a big difference will, make, will be made in the world. That's true. Mm -hmm. So and You're making a big difference. Thank you. Okay, so far we've been doing a lot of work and hiking and stuff like that, so how about a little bit of fun? Let's go to the beach. Once the tree starts growing, all these different kind of vines and other uh, mm. plants start growing on them. And it's a competition here too. I mean, you see that everything lives together, but it's a competition. I mean, everybody's competing against everybody else for the nutrients, for the light, for the water. Uh, right now we're going through land to the Bayana Marine National Park. So we're here in Playa de Arco, which is, uh, as you can see, one of the beautiful beaches and my favorite in the whole world. So it's a small little ecosystem uh, along the beach. And as you can see, we have a small little cliff <laughs> sand. If you do the twist, you go down and down. So I don't know if I can get out anymore. There's a tunnel that we're going to go through 